In his main speech to the UN at COP26 summit, Biden said that fighting climate change will boost, not hurt, economies. I guess I shouldn't apologize, but I do apologize for the fact the United States, uh, the last administration, pulled out of the Paris Accords and put us sort of behind the ball. Former U.S. President Donald Trump mocked Biden for appearing to fall asleep before his speech. He implied that the snooze indicates that Biden does not truly believe global warming as a dire threat. UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson, the host of the summit, had attempted to sound the alarm about climate change. Two degrees more and we jeopardize the food supply for hundreds of millions of people as crops wither, locusts swarm. Three degrees and you can add more wildfires and cyclones, twice as many, five times as many droughts and 36 times as many heat waves. And the anger and the impatience of the world will be uncontainable unless we make this COP26 in Glasgow the moment when we get real about climate change. Queen Elizabeth II also urged world leaders at the COP26 climate summit to create a safer and more stable future for the planet in a video message. More than 100 countries promised to halt and reverse forest loss and land degradation by the end of 2030, underpinned by 19 billion U.S. dollars in public and private funds to invest in the protection and restoration of forests.